Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I would like to talk to you about one of the what's new features in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018, Corner Cleanup for Corridors. Corridor bow ties are something that we have had to deal with for a long time here in Civil 3D. And in 2017, they gave us functionality to start cleaning up these corridors for us. Well, they've enhanced this functionality in Civil 3D 2018. So I want to show you that today. I've got a couple of corridors in here. One is representing the retaining wall, all right, that we actually generated in a previous video. And we've got some corners here we need to clean up. I've also got a swale that would be like a diversion swale for any water that's coming off the property that we need to catch before it gets to the detention pond. And we've got several bow ties here. So we've got one on this side that shows a pretty nasty bow tie here. And we've got a bow tie here. So let's, let's go through and show you how we can clean these up real quick. So if I zoom in here, let's start with the retaining wall. I have a bow tie right here that I want to get rid of. So if I select that corridor, I can go up and select out of my ribbon the clear corridor bow ties. So it asks me to start to select my starting sub entity. So that's going to be this feature line here. So the basically the incoming and outgoing tangents of the of the baselines. And it asks me for an intersection point. Well, I wanted to clean up to that intersection right there where they overlap. So I'm just going to select the intersection there. And it it shows that area that that's what's being selected. So I'm going to hit enter and it cleans my corridor up. All right, does a very nice job. So I can go over to the other corner if I'd like, and I can do the same thing. I can grab my corridor, select clear bow ties, and just pick the same thing, and it updates my corridor. Does a very nice job. So uh, the, the, there'll be a question probably about, well, is it is it actually updating the daylighting piece of the retaining wall? And yes, it is. I just want to be sure that everybody understands that. It's going to update the daylighting piece of my corridor representing my drainage diversion ditch too. So let's show you. So I'm going to select this corridor now and I'm going to clean up this bow tie. So if I hit clear corridor bow ties, and I select these two entities and I say I want it to clear to right here. It cleans up that area. All right, same thing here. If I was to grab the corridor and go up and hit clear corridor bow ties. All right, so I can select this tangent, this tangent, and I can pull all the way to here and hit enter. And it cleans that corridor up. Now we can restore those bow ties in the same way that we cleared them. All right, so I can go back. If I want that bow tie to come back uh, because of design reasons, or I want to see if it's actually overlapping now, if I've changed design either horizontally or vertically, I can clear that bow tie also. So if I select my corridor again and hit restore bow ties, I can pick my area. Now it's got two different bow tie areas, all right, that, that I had cleared. So I can just tell it, yes, I wanted to, to go ahead and restore both of these and the bow ties come back. Now I could adjust my alignments uh, horizontally and my profiles vertically. And if these didn't overlap anymore and give me a bow tie in my corridor, then I wouldn't have to clear them. But you could quickly clear the bow ties even after you've made adjustments, uh, just the same method that we did before. So I hope you can see the benefit of the enhanced functionality of clearing corridor bow ties. I hope that the information in this video has helped you to understand one of the new features inside of Civil 3D 2018. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.